Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Talk channel on YouTube. We have an interesting problem here. We're supposed to find f prime by limiting process. Now, without a limiting process, the shortcut, of course, is the 6x squared plus 6x equal to f prime of x. Okay, so here's our reference point. Let's take a look. By limiting process, they're really saying is f prime of x is limit as uh, uh, h goes to 0, function of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Okay, so what we need to do is actually plug this one in for each one of the term and uh, calculate it in this limit. So let's just go ahead and uh, start this one and we'll do an uh, arrow here to see its limit. So instead of writing this whole limit, I'm just going to write this way. It's 1 over h times this whole thing, which is f of x plus h minus f, f of x. Okay, that's 1 over h, f of uh, x plus h. So I'm going to have to plug this one in there, cubed, okay, plus 3x plus h squared. Okay, because my f of x saying whatever you gave me, I'm going to cube it times 2 plus squared times 3. Okay, so this is what I did. I, I was given x plus h, so I substitute in there. Now I'm going to subtract twice of uh, x cubed minus 3x squared. Okay, I'm going to combine the cube terms because I have a formula. a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b, a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, it's a long, tedious one, but it's not hard. So let's keep track of this one. 1 over h. Uh, let's have a 2 here, and then I have the cube process. Okay, so I have x plus h cubed minus x squared cubed, uh, x cubed, that's just 1, and then plus 3, that's this one and this one, so I have uh, x plus h squared minus x squared. Okay, this is the whole thing. Right, pretty tedious, but let's keep on going. 1 over h, 2, now I'm going to use the formula over here now. I have this one minus this one, that's a minus b. Okay, so let's do a minus b, which is x plus h minus x. That's the first term. And then I'm going to square this term, which is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Okay, and then plus uh, x plus h times x, that's the middle term, and then plus last term, which is x squared. So long tedious, like I said, um, plus 3 of x squared plus h. That's just do uh, plus 2 x times h plus h squared minus x squared. So all I did is expand this one out. Okay, as my see, my x squared cancels out nicely. Okay. Keep on going to next step. I have two. Let's see what kind of mess we have over here. X is canceled out, so I have h times. Let's see what I have here. X squared. Okay, plus two x h plus h squared, plus x squared again, plus another xh, plus another x squared. Okay, that's all I have here. And then plus 3, let's see, um, times 2hx plus h squared. Okay, this is the whole thing. And then let's see, I didn't miss anything. This one ends here. Okay, this one is the second term. All right, almost there. Um, one over h. So we have h is here, and then the rest of the stuff. So let's just combine this one times. I have one, two, and three. So let's put a three x squared plus two uh, x h plus. Actually, I have three of them. There's another one here. Plus h squared. That's this one. 
then I'm done with this chunk. And plus 3 times 2, which is 6. 6 um, h x and then plus 3 h squared. Okay, so this is the second chunk. Now let's multiply my h back in there. So this one cancels out for one of them. And 2 multiply in there, I have 6x squared plus 6h h plus um, I have a 2h squared. Okay, that's the first term. I gotta divide this one by h as well. Okay, so I have a 6x plus 3h. So I distributed this one for this chunk and then distributed for this chunk as well. So 1 over h here. One more step and then we're there. Now this is taking limit x, h approaches 0. So I have 6x squared saved by itself. This term goes to 0. So does this one. This one is saved 6x. This one goes to 0. Just like we said, the answer should be 6x squared plus 6x. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.